I guess we're back on. I guess we're back on. Xavier Porter shoot the fly. Brooklyn fights in the building. Um, got a lot of things taking place. First and foremost, I want to talk about Mr. Edna Cherry. My heart and prayers go out to Mr. Edna Cherry. Um, he was scheduled to fight this Saturday on March 2nd. Um, on the undercard of er Erislandi Lara and Luis Ortiz co-main event fight at the Barclays Center, uh, premier boxing champions fight. Unfortunately, um, Edna, Edna Cherry suffered um, an injury in training camp, and um, the injury basically, it, it appears that he had a heart attack during training. Um, cause, um, the reports coming out of Florida is that, um, and by the way, Edna Cherry is the is the sparring partner of Keith Thurman, stable mate of Keith Thurman in a sense. He's a, a title contender, he's a vet, veteran. If you know about Edna Cherry, you know his nickname is the Cherry Bomb. But unfortunately, he suffered an injury at training camp. Um, it was reported that his heart stopped while he was training, while he was, I don't know if he was sparring, running or jogging or doing whatever he was doing, but he was in the midst of training for his upcoming fight which was scheduled to take place, like I said, this Saturday, March 2nd, on the undercard of Erislandi Lara and Luis Ortiz co-main event at the Barclays Center. And after his heart stopped, you know, people were there. <clears throat> it was reported that his trainer had to perform CPR on him to um, resuscitate him. Um, this took place earlier this week. Um, you know, once they resuscitated him, he apparently, when he when he passed out and his heart stopped, he fell and he hit his head also. They immediately, once they resuscitated him and got him to breathe, they immediately took him to the hospital. He spent some time in the hospital. He was on an oxygen machine. He was on a, uh, uh, it was reported that he was on a ventilator. It was reported that it was a little touch and go at, uh, at some points. And if you, you know, look at my, my, my previous interview with um, Edna Cherry, you'll realize and see that this is a good, God-fearing young man, uh, family man, you know, all he does is fight to take care of his family. You know, he migrated from Barbados. He's been through so much in life. Um, he, and we discussed everything in detail, what has took place in his life and his career. And all he wanted to do is fight for his family and provide for his family. And if he didn't want his fight on Saturday night, he'd have been the number one title, cont title contender, mandatory contender, challenger, whatever you want to call it, for Javante Tank Davis for the WBA Super um, super Featherweight title. And it's just unfortunate that this happened. Um, and, you know, he suffered this injury. He basically almost died, in a sense. And they resuscitated him, got him to the hospital, got him treated. They had him on, a, on an oxygen machine. And they had him on um, another piece of equipment to help with the blood flow throughout the body, through his arteries and everything, and, and, and today, it was reported that he had surgery today, um, you know, like I said, God bless him, God bless his family, you know, you don't want to hear about things like this with a fighter, and so fortunate that this happened, I mean, this could have happened when he was, you know, he, this could have happened sometime this week, when he came down for training, I mean, for sparring, you know, for um, the media workouts, this could have happened on Saturday night during the actual fight, you know, um, but it's sad to hear about a man who, who has, who fights so hard, who has been fighting so hard, and all he want to do is take care of his family, he has a daughter who has, um, she has physical disabilities, and his hope, his focus was, you know, to, to kind of like make a way to help his wife, you know, to kind of relieve some of the, the tension and stress that his wife has had on her for taking care of the family and the kids. You know, they, they been, they've been going so hard for so long. And um, it's just it's just a real tough situation for him. I'm happy to report that that the surgery from reports from his family, the surgery went well. Um, he's and it says let me let me quote unquote, let me read this to y'all. Um, it says, good morning, family and friends. I want to thank everybody for their prayers and their visits. Um, now I'm, I'm home recovering from the surgeries. So he had, either he had multiple surgeries or he had just one surgery. 
But he said, thank you again. Please still keep me in your prayer. Love you all. That's from that's from his Facebook page. Um, not sure if he wrote it or someone else wrote it. But um, he went into surgery on Friday morning. Excuse me. He went to surgery on Friday morning and he's home. Um, but hey, man, just you just got to say thank you. Praise God. And continue to, you know, this is a similar situation with Adonis Stevenson. You know, when when he got hurt in the ring and he went into a coma and he had to go through what he had to go through, and he has a long road of recovery facing him, just 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 like Mr. Ender Cherry over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, I'm just happy to share this. I I don't want to say I'm happy to share this information, but I'm happy to share that he's doing okay and he's home with his family, and he's resting and recovering from the surgery. Um, it's a lot to say, man. It's a lot to say that took place. And, and, you know, the report came out on Thursday, February 21st. It um, says that, he, um, let me see what it says. It's, I'm trying to read the report. He was born in Nassau, Bahamas. Like I said, he was scheduled to fight this Saturday. His record was his record is 37-7 and seven with two draws and 19 KOs. And um, it's just tough, man. He... Says he had he went to cardiac arrest and needed to be resuscitated. He was transferred to the ICU on Monday. Excuse me, this took place on Monday, and um, I heard about it throughout the week. And I didn't really want to put it out there like that until there was some good news to go with the story. And uh, I'm just happy that he and, I, and and just like his family, man, you want to you want to be you want to be thankful and you want to continue to send out your prayers and thoughts. To Mr. Edna Cherry, because he's a good guy, man. He's a really, really good guy. I'll come back to y'all with another one. Drop your comments below. Um, shoot the five, Xavier Porter, Brooklyn Fights in the building. As you know, I write for Brooklyn Fights. I am the editor, the lead writer. I need to get back on my writing. I've been doing so many videos <laughs> that I need to get back on my writing because my pen game is phenomenal. Um, but yeah, drop your comments below. Let me know your thoughts, and we we'll continue to wish. And the cherry, um, a positive recovery, a speedy, positive recovery. All right, peace.